In today's video, we are putting different beverages into a humidifier. We have a humidifier here that Grace is playing with so happily. She was telling me just before about good childhood memories about a humidifier in her room. I mean, growing up, everyone had a humidifier in their room. Mine was shaped like an elephant and it had its trunk and it would spew steam out of its trunk. Kevin did yeah. not have the same childhood experience. No. Now, did you put anything other than water in your humidifier? There were ideas, but oh, I no. was told no. The only thing we put in it was um, lavender smell. Oh, not bad. Yes. So this idea actually comes from some of your comments that you've submitted. You wanted to see us put different beverages into a humidifier. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've got orange juice, bang energy drink, good old Dr. Pepper. Some coffee, lemon juice, and this was not Kevin's idea, but I just had to throw it in the mix because I really wanted to see if bubbles would happen in our humidifier. Now we're gonna do that one at the end in case we ruin our humidifier here, because we only yes. got one. I didn't anticipate us breaking a humidifier. I've never heard of an ultrasonic humidifier. Like, please break this down. For These me. are cool. So, normally in a humidifier, the simple ones are just a fan blowing air through a moist filter. So, the water moistens the filter, blows through it, and evaporates. Here, we actually have a little metal thing on the inside of this base here that's vibrating at a high frequency, like a really high frequency speaker. Okay. It's creating those water droplets to come up and then create this air vapor. So, I'm gonna lift this up so we can take a look. So, right down there in the middle, you see it all bumping up here. I'm actually gonna turn it off so we can see. That is our ultrasonic disc right in here that's vibrating at the ultra high frequencies. Ultrasonic too then. Pop the water up so we'll give it another start. You can see there and that's what's causing our water vapor. You can see the water bubbling up in that center tube there. Where do you want to start? I'm thinking orange juice. You okay. Let's start with the breakfast. Yes we love the breakfast. All right nice. that seems like good enough. Hopefully that's enough to fill up the reservoir. Solid pour there. Still show some in the base. Dip it on, we'll put on a cap. It starts chugging down to the bottom. And let's turn it on and see what happens. We got the bubbles coming up. You can see the orange juice shooting up the tube here, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Now, here's the question. It smells like OJ. Doesn't it? It's very faint, like very faint. But oh. you can smell it, like. Yeah, you can really smell it. I don't know if the camera can see this or if you guys can see this, but I see more particles, I feel like. I think there's a little bit of an orange hue there. It looks like it's We're in a more cloudy. It looks definitely more cloudy. I think that's this, the I'm really color. getting the orange juice. It's really coming up now. Now that's no. been going for, <laughs> for a minute or two. It is like orange juice hazy in here. It's right very now. hazy. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna pour this out. We're gonna move on. I want to go to coffee next. Yes. So that is if I could have an IV of coffee every morning, I would be the happiest human in the whole entire world. <laughs> coffee humidifier. I'm so excited about this part. Let's put on our cute little cone. And it's already bubbling Look up. Look at it! The mist goes quick. All right, you are the coffee fiend of the two of us. You I give it am. the smell. Yep. It Everyone works in this a lot. studio agrees that it really smells. I think this one smells more potent than the orange juice. For sure. Let's crank that down. That's pretty intense. I love it. Super success. Now we can't waste it, so I'm gonna pour it back into the container. I was just gonna ask you, do you wanna recycle this coffee? Yes, I do, because I will drink it later on. I am curious, Grace. I would like you to take a drink of that and just tell me if it tastes any different. Does the ultrasonic vibrations make your coffee taste better? Um, so there's Does it a- Does <laughs> like orange juice? Yes. <laughs> There is a very strong hint of orange juice in there. Um, it actually tastes it. airier, if I'm being honest, because like, we did add some air to it. It feels lighter. Does um, it kind of taste like when you're drinking a nitro brew, when you put nitrous yes, oxide yes, in it? Yes, exactly. That's very much what it tastes like. So I feel like we just made our own it's nitro like, brew. Do it yourself, nitro brew, except with air. You can just put coffee in a humidifier. Highly recommend. Coffee It'll party at crisis. Be a coffee party, humidifiers of coffee going everywhere. We'd all be like the squirrel from Over the Hedge, Hammy, when he has that energy drink, and he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Speaking of energy drinks, let's clean it and put it in the bang. Hey, bang, bang. Bang, bang. bang, bang. All right, we're back with a cleaned humidifier. We had to get another bang, because we need more volume. So we're gonna pour these in there. 
These are carbonated. Now this is birthday cake. It does smell highly of birthday cake itself. Now this is the first carbonated beverage we're trying, so it will be interesting to see. You can see the bubbles forming in there. Do you think the ultrasonic will make the bubbles like go flat, so the carbonation go flat, or do you think it's gonna like... Create a mountain of bubbles yes. that just bubble out? Yeah. I would love to see the bubbles come out of it. I think it might create some more bubbles, but I don't think it's gonna be like drastic and go like anywhere. No, I don't think it'll be like It's like when you're shaking up a soda can, right? I'm not actually gonna shake Please that. Please don't. <laughs> shake this, like you shake this up, right? And then but that's because it's in a contained environment. Here we have a lot of air to come out. We've got valves, and by valve, I mean just like this hole on top. We'll turn that on. It's so carbonated. It's starting to pop. Coming up. Ooh, it's oh, falling. Wow. I can super smell the birthday I smell cake. it from over here. It's not even falling on me. This one is definitely emanating. That one hit me like as soon as that started coming out. More. The ultrasonicness is happening under here, so we might get a little messy, but I think we should lift this up and see yeah. what's happening in Forget the reservoir. Forget the essential oils. Throw an energy drink in there, y'all. So I'm blowing to get the vapor out. I'm not seeing any more bubbles. Mm -mm. But I'm just seeing normal. Okay, we can put that back on. So let's just happen. Grace did this before. I don't know if we got it on camera, but that's just what it looks like underneath. Just rotate it. Just comes out that way. Nothing special. And then once you put that on, it we creates create a, a little bit of pressure in a funnel. Got the nozzle. Back to pepper. Yeah. Two at once. Yeah. I'm not a soda drinker, so that's why Neither I say. Neither am I, but this is what we do. If I can drink it, I do. Fun fact, I have never drank a soda in my whole entire life. No. I promise I've no never way. drank a soda. Do you soda. want to see her drink a soda right now? Thumb up this video, do it. No. If this video reaches how many thumbs ups, will you drink a soda? Half a million. Half a million thumbs up. All right, we need 500,000 likes this video. Grace is gonna drink a soda. Never First had one in my whole entire life. I'm 22 years old. I am super surprised. <laughs> All right, let's pour them in. Does breathing soda count? That's what's gonna happen here. Another carbonated beverage giving us a lot of bubbles. All the bubbles. More bubbles, more bubbles, more bubbles. <laughs> Things are happening. Oh, this is interesting. I feel like it's- This one is way more- More- Aggressive? Yeah. <laughs> and it's going intermittent as well. And we're seeing like poofs and then less poofs. Smells highly of Dr. Pepper. Not as much as the Bang birthday cake. We really gotta actually yeah, get into it. I don't smell this one from right here. I like the smell of Dr. Pepper better than Bang. Now, let's just quickly move on to the lemon juice and then let's get to these bubbles because yes! I am quite intrigued now <laughs> with the bubbles. Are we gonna be creating bubbles? All right. Quite lemony. Yes, so we're pretty much wasting the rest of this. Unless we let this one go until it's empty. But we create that aroma in the studio. Vapor. So. Oh, yep. Interesting. That's lemony. Smells good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a little bit don't too get much. A lot. <laughs> well, this is lemon juice concentrate, water, lemon oil, sodium bezonate, so a little bit of baking soda. <laughs> this is, it has like a yellow hue. Do Dang. you see it? A little bit of lemon color. This is bad. None of them made us like die. <laughs> this one made us die. So much <clears throat> it being the like cleanser of the studio. Was not the cleanser of the studio. Grace is shaking the bubbles. This one I am super jazzed and pumped about because... Are you trying to get it more bubbly? Yeah, I'm trying to put a little bit more, get the bubbles all excited. These are normal bubbles. We talked about doing yellow bubbles, but there was not enough for this humidifier. I bought so. too big of a humidifier. We could still pour the yellow in here if we would like. This one has my interest peaked. Quite heavy, I'm quite curious. So if it doesn't work this way, I definitely, even if it does work, I want to take this off and look at the... <clears throat> Reservoir on the bottom when this happens. <laughs> Just <laughs> as it's going down into the reservoir, it's creating bubbles itself. Come on, buddy, make us some bubbles! And I really think it's gonna make bubble. bubbles. You think so? Wow, I'm not even seeing any vapor come out. We've already had vapor come out of everything we've done so far. No vapor. Two, three seconds in, and we got nothing. Even if I take this off, there's nothing I hear happening. It. We can see the bubbles in the center too, bouncing up and down or the liquid itself. The ultrasonic I smell is it. it, it's not like producing any vapor or anything, but I hear it and I also can smell it. There is one more thing to do, and that is potentially, there's just the reservoir blocking it. 
We got some nope. bubbles dripping. Nothing. We cannot make bubbles with an ultrasonic humidifier. That's so sad. So let's talk about why the bubbles didn't work. So we see Grace blowing bubbles, literally blowing bubbles. You need the air to go inside of it. And with our ultrasonic humidifier here, it's just vibrating and it's not taking any of the air from the surrounding area and putting it in the bubbles. It's just like shaking the liquid essentially. So maybe in a real and by real, I mean like the simple, most common humidifiers where you're actually blowing air through a moistened filter. If we moisten that filter with bubbles, I guarantee we'd be able to blow bubbles with a humidifier. I agree. I think Just that's not this one. the type that I had growing up. It did have that moist filter in there. So I think I definitely could have been able to Get blow bubbles. bubbles. If there are other things you want to see us put in a humidifier, please put them in the comments below. Or if you want us to put beverages in something besides a humidifier and see what happens, let us know about that too. We would love to see what you guys want us to do next. Hey guys, that's it for today, but we always have cool videos coming out. So make sure you hit that button down there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss one. And we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.